Harvey has a message for our young band, Picho. Take it away, Harvey. Well, I want you to know how important music is. I have a special child that he can't speak, he can't, he can't cry, and has lost his eyesight. But he gives love. And I want to share this with you. The unconditional love that you get from a special child is like no other love experience you can ever imagine. And people today in our society, they just don't understand. They're in denial. They don't want to know about people with disabilities. I mean, they just, even in your own families, they back off and they say, well, you know, we, we're just not interested. But you have to be interested. And one of the things that is so important in my life experience, I have a special child, he's 61 years old. And I tell you how the things that he loved and responded to most and still does, music. Music is a gift. People that are involved in music are, are very important in our society because through music, you can learn so much about what life is all about, the, the positive and the negative, but you learn how to enjoy and learn from music. And I don't think there's anything more stimulating than watching a youngster who had difficulty in moving when the, and I used to take Ricky to all the concerts on the boardwalk in Long Beach and watch him rock and move to the music. And people would just look and they couldn't believe it. And of course, but look how much he loved the music. And I'm just saying, music and the other aspect that I had to bring into this is the ocean. How wonderful God gave us a beautiful ocean. We have Long Beach, a wonderful small city, but we have the greatest resources, the most accessible city in the state of New York for people with disabilities who are challenged. I mean, every street has a curb cut. We have ramps that are modified for people with disabilities. We have um, surf chairs that if you're in a wheelchair and you can't get out of the wheelchair, we got special surf chairs for people and you transfer out of the wheelchair into a surf chair and they can spend a day on the beach, even go into the water. One quick story and I point look at A lady by the name of Lola Reynolds had five children and her husband used to go down to the beach and point look out and be all day on the beach with the five children. We bought her a surf chair. Surprise to the, the fire department. We put it together and brought it down there. And I went down there on a Sunday, and there she was at the water's edge with our kids on the little float boards all around that chair. And I'm just saying, it just makes you smile. And that's another thing, Camp Anchor, that we have for people with disabilities. One of the best model resources. We have waiting lists of volunteers, of young people who volunteer to help these people with disabilities and it's an amazing life experience. Not only do the children have a good time, the volunteers, the same as our Surf for All program, people who volunteer to take people out on surfboards with disabilities, the happiness, and what the happiness that you have is seeing the pleasure of what you're doing. You're giving a youngster or a person a life experience that nobody thought would ever happen. If you have somebody with one leg on a surfboard and you say, I can't believe this. I carried a lady, a young lady down on the beach who couldn't walk on the beach. Put her on a surfboard. She came in, caught a wave, and you hold her up, and you can see her eyes open up wide and a smile on her face. A life experience that her mother said, I never thought this would ever happen. But the happiness that you get, the happiness you get, and through your music, through your music and talent that you have, you're going to enrich young people and families. So I wish you well, God bless you, and I hope there's enough money in the school to really make sure that you have the resources to be able to do what you do best. God bless you. All right, thank you. That was awesome.